to us 20 years. You know, 20 years is a long period. To us, this means a lot because it means it's a commitment that has been met. We promised and we delivered. That is a great achievement to us and we are really proud of it that for the past 20 years we were able to consistently supply power 180 megawatts to the grid and to the nation which sustains our economy. So to us it means a lot that uh, this has been uh, a great achievement. Um, this, uh, this has created a saving of more than six billion dollars in terms of using gas instead of using fossil fuels uh, that were used before. So in, in terms of cash, we have had a great saving uh, in terms of fuel that was used using gas instead of using uh, other types of fuel. So it, it's, it's a great achievement. And, if, and more than that, we have developed expertise in our people. We have developed expertise in technical experts in our Tanzanians people. And now we have an all Tanzanian team that is uh, running the plant at international standards. Yes, being the first Tanzanian plant manager running an international company like Songas. Uh, first of all, it makes me feel proud that a Tanzanian can run uh, an international facility. But also, it shows that if we work hard, Tanzanians can do, the, can do it. Like any other Tanzanian, if you work hard, it means it is possible. I am a living testament that having uh, worked in Songas from operatorship, I, 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 I started as an operator, became a manager, and finally became a plant manager in 2020. That is a great achievement, personal achievement, but also a great achievement of the company to be able to groom people to rise to the level of great high leadership in the company. In the next five years, yes. Now, you should remember that Songas has a contract with the, with the government, and the contract ends uh, next year, 2024. However, we feel that with, uh, with given acceptance, to continue running with an extension of our contract. We, we see us not only generating the same power consist consistently, but we are also seeing ourselves expanding. We would like to, uh, in the same premises, add to the output. We definitely could rise uh, to a total of uh, 200 and 40 megawatts from what we have now, 180. We can generate 240 in the same area if uh, we are given an, the opportunity. But that's an added investment that can come. So I see Songas uh, uh, supporting the grid in a greater way in the next five years to 10 years. Uh, using uh, not only the available technology, but probably we also would like to do some more expansion into renewable energy as well. So uh, how much we, we want to invest in the future really depends on mutual agreement with Tanesco and the government. Uh, so I cannot straight away answer that question, but I'm saying that we are willing to invest as much as uh, is required for now. I know Tanesco would like us to invest more. There has been word 
that they would like to invest, us to invest 500 megawatts uh, and more. So this only can be accomplished through discussions. So we, we are looking forward to those discussions. Previously, the, the, the facility that is uh, uh, currently working from the, uh, from the island to Ubungo is a total investment of 320 million US dollars. This depends on the availability of, uh, uh, according to TANESCO, there have been areas like in, in Singida and Dodoma, but these are still too, it's too early to say because uh, these haven't been closed yet. So if opportunity arises, we are willing to invest in other areas in terms of wind and solar energy. Because it is, it is now uh, the policy of Globalec to, to venture now into renewable energy. This, is, this has to deal with the, uh, with, with the issues of environmental protection. The, I think it rises from the COP26 talk that has decided that we need to now get away from fossil fuels to reduce the carbon count and to move on to renewable energies. And uh, the, the readily available renewable energies are solar and wind but also geothermal, which, if, uh, if they are possible, are type of renewable energies. But the current report is in 12 million, 12 million investment. Uh, till, uh, yeah. Currently, we have invested 12 million dollars, uh, million dollars, US dollars, in social uh, responsibilities uh, to the community. And this has gone to build uh, schools, uh, hospitals or clinics, and support the community uh, to be more, uh, uh, to, to support the economical well-being, livelihood, and also uh, support the environment especially the fishermen in the beaches by building facilities to, to uh, enable a cleaner approach in their livelihood. Currently we have a workforce of about 74 uh, people and uh, in, in, in Dar es Salaam. Yeah. Now you should remember that the plant in uh, Songo Songo we have uh, contracted Pan-Africa to run it, yes. So it, it is under an operatorship agreement. But I'm talking about the plant at Ubungo, which we are operating ourselves. Uh, that has uh, uh, about a staffing of about 74 people. Gender ratio. Pardon? Gender ratio. Okay, we, we have about 16% uh, of uh, women. Yeah. Yeah, I would say, actually, no, that, that's the women in leadership. But, but uh, entirely the gender, yeah, I think you're right. We, we, I think uh, the gender is, in general, will be about 30%. And uh, uh, the leadership in, in, in the, is about 16%. Yeah. Leadership. leadership. But generally the gender ratio is 30, I remember 38% women, the rest are men. Yes, we, we, we do support by, first of all, uh, we do have an internship program which has seen a lot of uh, um, students that have finished university 
are able to, to be employed. We have had about 150 such interns and, and a big portion of them have got jobs. But now, when we're doing these programs, we're trying to have a gender balance. We try to give priority to women uh, whenever there's a possibility to, uh, to have an, a woman. And also during any interview, we do give priority to listening to women. So if they qualify, they get the first opportunity. We do support women in leadership. We have a, we, we, we participate in a program by ATE that supports women in leadership. And some of our women have qualified or rather have, have been certified as leaders through this program, uh, Women in Leadership. Um, we have, we have a common sharing with our partners as uh, the structure of our company is 54% is Globalec and 46% is government entities. And to this end, for the entire period, we have accumulated a total of about 157 billion as dividends to the government the for the last 20 years. Yeah. And Globalec have got about 186 billion to, to, for that entire period. And we have paid taxes to, v, to TRA amounting to about 38 billion.